We have, we have the quotation here. Neither the petitioner nor the courts should be permitted to substitute their judgment for that of management and put all of their powers back in management's hand. Now, my problem is, let me just read a quote from the executive director. Just take out this so we just read the quote, right? The, the law is saying management has a responsibility to the direct and fund the services. And this is the executive director who is writing this. The, the governor, uh, tell Governor Cuomo to support fair distribution of safety net funding. Last year, NYC Health and Hospitals received only $96 million out of a possible $3.5 billion. Now, if the hospitals are only receiving $96 million out of a possible $3.6 billion, you understand what we are talking about. So if there is not the funding, our jobs are at stake. Patient care is at stake. If they are going to have a new model of delivering health services instead of inpatient, outpatient, right? And they are, have the opportunity to transform the job relationship, the job specification that they have power over, the employment and that sort of thing, union fighting against union, workers fighting against workers. You understand the dilemma that we'll be in in another two years. All of the HHC people's jobs are at stake. Because if they can modify and if they can transform and if they can divide the job, right, people's jobs are at stake. So you understand why we ask Sister Jamela to come and speak to us so that you understand the very serious nature that we are talking about. And she's speaking on behalf of Brother Henry Garrido, right? And they're upstate the other day when I come up there for the two hours where I had to come up there, I went up there, rush up there. Just, just to spend a few minutes up there. But I had to show my presence that they understand we take it seriously. So see, we have come in here, we have not even called a meeting to order, right? But we are just speaking to this because all of our jobs are at stake. And if one set of jobs are going, the other people's jobs will be going. The, the third point I just made, Sister Dolan just came in here and just spoke to you, right? About continuing education. The, the workers and their association fought to get it so that they could isolate themselves from other people. And in doing that, what they did was to say, unless we have these, these credits, with the continuing education credit, we will not have a job because it's now become a requirement of the job. It's a law to say that you have got to have this. Before you did not require this, right? You understand what I'm saying? So financially, our jobs can be threatened. Right? The new distribution and arrangement of the health services threatens our job. The new requirements that we are putting in, right? Sister Roberts begged the state not to do it or to delay it, right? And the state did not accede to it, right? So just understand, we have got to come to the rallies, right? When you hear people are talking about rallies, it's no longer something foreign. I'm going to shut up now. It's no longer something that we can say doesn't bother me. If you can't afford one day to go up there, you may not have a job come next year.